In this one, we will be exploring one way data binding. We'll see how expressions and directives can be used for one way data binding. So we have a pretty simple example over here. All we have done is we have created one small HTML document and included our AngularJS script, given it one ng app directive so that this whole piece is treated as one Angular application. And after that, you can see that we have included the bootstrap CSS just to make our page look a little better. And then what we are doing is we are making use of the ng init directive, which is basically used to initialize a particular model. So over here, we are creating one small model called person with first name and last name attributes. So all we are doing over here is making use of expression for one way data binding. We are writing person dot first name over here. In another example, we can see that we are making use of the ng bind directive and here we are doing the same person dot last name. You'll notice that few of the editors like this one, Webmatrix, basically treats all these as unrecognized or unknown attributes. So in order to make it recognizable, you can prefix data hyphen with these. Since data hyphen is a HTML5 attribute, this is recognized by editors like Webmatrix, Visual Studio and all. So just save this and let's run this one in browser. So here you can see that the first name is coming as James and the last name is coming as Bond. So that was a small example of one-way data binding, making use of expressions and ng-bind directive.